Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of March Madness. This is the series where we take some boxes and we rip them open and we try to turn a profit by selling off all the cards inside. We've had some success. We've had some massive failures. We'll do this throughout the month of March and hopefully by the end of the month, we end up making a profit off of these boxes for our Patreon members. So today, we're going to go ahead and try out 2022 Tops. Allen and Ginter Chrome, and there will be some numbered cards in here. The the, the, the big find, hopefully, that we can find is going to be a J-Rod numbered card or a case hit autograph. So let's go ahead and get started here. We'll go ahead and start things off with this first box over here for Jeffrey C. Good luck to you, Jeffrey. Let's go ahead and see what we can find. If you'd like to sponsor a video like this one, I usually post maybe like five or six videos or so every week or, or whatever. And um, the next round will be posted soon. And they, uh, they're posted on our Patreon page along with all of our breaks. We do the Box Wars on Saturdays. We also do the new release preview videos, which seemingly there is something new every week. And we also have our random Team Break Tuesdays, so you can get into all of those on Patreon if you'd like to sign up there. All right, Jeff, so since we have three boxes here, that's kind of a lot of boxes to do in one video. The format of this video is I'm going to rip all the cards, and I'm going to show you what we have to work with. And then I'm going to go and auction them off. I auction them off on YouTube. We typically do our auctions on Sunday nights. And we also have channel member special auction perks as well. If you'd like to become a channel member, there's a link in the description. You get a free hobby pack with every win during the members only time, which is at least the last 30 minutes. So anyway, I'll auction these off and then I'll come back down here and I will let you know what we got. Now, the price per on these boxes was 110. So each person paid 110 per box. They sold these for 120 on tops. I was able to get my boxes for 110 though, so pass those savings along to you guys, and hopefully we can turn a profit here for you. Jeff, you're up first. I'll do my best to try to squeeze every penny out of this that I can for you, Jeff. I'll be making lots. I'll be selling off the best cards as we go, and it looks like right here I can see four numbered cards by those white card stock. All right, so here we go. It is our Allen and Ginter Chrome box. So what I'll probably do is I'll take the refractors out, the minis out, and maybe try to do something with those because people do like the minis. There's people out there that may be collecting that mini set. So far, nothing crazy at all. There's three rookie cards, which is pretty nice. And we have our first numbered card. It's Dubner. I don't know who that is. He's an author. It's numbered 29 of 199. So there's something possibly that we can maybe sell for i don't know what that'll go for something like that i'll likely sell most of these numbered cards in a lot we've got matt chapman 96 of 99 and usually we see about maybe six numbered cards per box or so maybe a little less all right so none of the big rookies yet from this box we've got the mini right there Hey, we've got a blue. It's a Luis Castillo numbered to 150. So that's our third numbered card. And let's see what else. We got Max Scherzer. There's a Key Brian Hayes refractor. Jerry Pena rookie card. That's one of the better ones so far. There's Glaber Day. And our next numbered card, it's Hideki Matsui. That's going to be a 43. That's card number, is that five already? Five numbered cards. Getting a lot of numbered cards in this, which is nice. Barry Larkin Refractor as well. There's another mini. Getting down to the end. We'll see if we have maybe one more numbered card in here. Do you have some refractors? Got a bunch of minis. I think it's 18 minis, one mini per pack. So that's a nice little lot of minis for somebody. And there's the final numbered card. It's going to be Herman Marquez. It's a 19 of 50. Got a rookie card of Jaron Duran right there and Salvador Perez. So, Jeffrey, that first box, I don't know about that one. If I was to guess on that one, I would guess that one's going to be a loss. I don't think we're going to be able to get you $110. We might not be able to even get you half of it back, but we'll try our best. I've broken it down into base cards for you. I've broken it down into rookie cards. I've broken it down into refractors, parallels, and minis. There just really was no standout card in that entire box. So that one may be a loser, uh, unfortunately, for Jeff. 
But as you know, when it comes to boxes, I would say most of the time it is a losing proposition. But every now and then you hit it big. We've had some good luck so far, so we'll see if we can continue that. Here's our next box. This one is for Chris Costello. By the way, the way this works is after I receive the payments for all the cards that we've auctioned off, then I send that money via PayPal to the person. For example, if I'm able to get maybe 150 bucks for Chris, which would be awesome, then I will PayPal him the 150 I do not take any fees for this. My fees, I figure, are going to be... Uh, recouped in maybe a couple bucks of ad revenue. Typically with auctions, if I would do a consignment, we would split it 50-50. And I would do all the shipping and packaging and handling and all that stuff. Get all the cards sold for you. But Chris, let's see what we can find here in this next one. This is the middle one. Really need to find like a Jeremy Pena parallel or Bobby Witt or Torkelson or J-Rod. If you don't hit any of those guys, you used to have some base parallels i mean maybe you'll be able to get five bucks or so depending on what it's numbered out of maybe if it's a lower numbered card might be able to fetch 10 but we'll see what we can find here for you chris best of luck we'll do all 18 packs i think there's 18 packs per box and then get right to it and see what we can find i think we're 0 for 1 right now have lots of other videos lined up for this month we've got stuff like gilded collection immaculate um, flawless. What else would I like to do? I like to do some of the higher end stuff. Five star. Maybe we'll do some more triple threads. All right, Chris, here we go. Let's see what we can find for you in this box. And hopefully there's going to be something worthwhile because we're off to a bit of a slow start. All right. So once again, I'll be taking out the rookies and making a stack. There's uh, okay. A pickle card. Weird. Very, very weird. Got a refractor right there of Joe Maurer, Roger Clemens, and we've got a mini of Anthony Rizzo. Got our first numbered card. It's going to be Trey Mancini. It is numbered 36 of 199. Hey, there's a good one. Spencer Torkelson. We might be able to do something with that. We might be able to do that one by itself. Maybe get something there for it. And we've got another mini card there of some of those donuts. I don't even know. Got a Pete Alonso refractor, another Jeremy Pena, very nice. That'll make that rookie card lot a little more appealing. Pete Alonso gold card. This one will be numbered out of 50. It is a 41 of 50. It's one of the better numbered cards we've seen so far. Charlie Blackman refractor, another mini card right there. Buster Posey refractor. Hey, a Ken Griffey Jr. gold out of 50. That is a nice one right there. And Hunter Green. So I will tell you that I think this box is much better than the first. The question is, will we, will we be able to get 110 out of it? it uh, this one's going to be a little bit closer than the last one, but we're going to try our very best. There's TJ Friedel. We'll put that in the rookie card stack. We've got our next numbered card. It's going to be a Corey Seager. It's a 23 of 150. Brian Reynolds, we've got B Real. And here comes our final numbered card. Manny Machado just signed a big extension. It's an 87 out of 99 with the Babe Ruth card in there for Chris. So, Chris, I think I might try to do... Maybe I'll try to do the Griffey by itself and see if I can see what I can get for that. And maybe the Torkelson little nice mini refractor by itself as well. See what I can pull you for those. All the base cards, I've got those all separated out. We'll do a stack of those and see what we can get for those. The refractors I've... Put aside, the rookie lot was not that big. I've got a rookie lot here of just, what, four cards? Only four rookies in that box. I even went through and double-checked. Lots of minis. Looks like about 17, not including the Griffey. So we'll do our best. We'll come back here and see what we can do for you, Chris, in uh, just a minute. So sit tight, and we'll let you know how we did on all of these boxes. We'll do a cumulative video total, by the way. Um, so that'll just be easier, like... $330 is the total expenditure for this video. I figured we would just open it up to more people so that you know, more people could have a chance. We've got three people taking a shot at this one. William Von Glan is going to have the last spot here. Good luck to you. Let's see what we can find here. Hopefully we can come out in the positive. Overall, I, I don't know. I, I feel like we're probably going to be negative after those first two boxes. I don't think we're going to get 220 for them. But we shall see. 
all it takes is two people to, you know, have a little bidding war and drive the price up, but we'll find out, and I'll come back and let you know. So, William, let's see what we can find here for you. Currently, I'm filming this on, what date is today, anyway, March 2nd? So a lot of these videos, I'll film them, and then you won't see them until maybe a week later or so because I film a bunch of them at once. I gotta, I only do auctions once or twice a week, so I, I can't do them every single day. That would be a little too, too many live streams. So I usually will open maybe, I don't know, four or five boxes worth of these videos and then go auction them off at a time and then put them all together later on and release it later. So I'm not sure what date I'm uploading this video, but I'd like to remind you to always check our Patreon page under the posts to see what is filling. Probably a Team Break Tuesday in the very near future or Saturday Night Box War. So William Von Vaughn, here we go with yours. Let's see what we can do for you in this next one. Andrew McCutcheon Refractor. Again, I'm taking out the refractors and the minis, and I'm going to... It's my strategy to try to get a little bit. And here we go, a red out of five. Todd Helton. All right, that's a big card. That is a big card. We'll do that one by itself. Todd Helton is likely going to be a Hall of Famer. We've got a Spencer Torkelson rookie card right there. Shohei Otani, very nice. That'll maybe fetch a couple extra bucks in the base. Uh, for the base, I guess, uh, lot that we're going to do. Got a Seth Beer rookie card, Vlad Jr., so getting some good veterans in this box. I'll have to let you know what the best box is here after we go through all these. I want to make sure I didn't miss a rookie card. There's one. Vidal Brujan will put that in our rookie stack. Yadier Molina, Xander Bogart's refractor. We've got DJ LeMahieu, Mike Trout, so definitely getting some good ones in the base. And we've got a Steve Carlton. This is going to be numbered out of 150. That is only our second numbered card so far. C.J. Abrams, very nice. Brandon Marsh, Matt Vierling. And we've got Nick Lodolo, which will be our next numbered card. It's a green. It'll be numbered to 99, 86 of 99. And we've got about maybe, I don't know, six, seven packs worth or so. There's a refractor of Bobichette. You got Danny Glover right there. And we'll see what else we can find. If there's anything worthwhile. Man, nice. O'Neill Cruz rookie card. So, like the rookie lot, it all depends. Everything on this box right now is hinging on that Todd Helton and what that can fetch. I don't know if that could fetch 50 bucks or not. That would be clutch if it could. It might be able to put this box in the positive. Final card there. It's going to be Rob Riggle, at least a final numbered card. Actually, no, there's another one hiding underneath it. Shohei Otani, the Riggle's out of 199, and the Otani is going to be numbered to 99. So that Otani will definitely get, garner some interest in the auction, I think. I'm not sure here, folks, but I think that I might be able to squeak out a profit on this box for Mr. William Von Glan. It'll be interesting. I really like the I like the base that we got the Otani and the Trout in there. That'll drive up that price just a tad bit. The rookie cards were solid as well. You saw the O'Neill Cruz in there, along with C.J. Abrams, Hunter Green, and so forth. A lot of rookie cards compared to Chris's box. These were all the rookies in there, so that's a pretty nice lot. Stephen Kwan's in there as well. Seth Beer, Torkelson. That's a good lot right there. And then we had. Couple nice numbered cards as well. So I'll see what I can do for all these. We'll come back. We'll talk about what sold, how much it sold for, and how much profit we made per box. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. And uh, let me go and run upstairs, auction these cards off, and I will be right back and tell you how we did in just, I don't know, five seconds. All right, everybody, I'm back from the auction and kind of a mixed bag right there. We'll start things off with this box over here on the left. Had the Otani green. This was William Von Glan's box. It got off to a really good start. I thought that uh, this was the most valuable car that sold in the box. It went for $42, a numbered Otani green. And uh, I figured, okay, off to a good start. We might be able to... Come out in the positive. This Todd Helton was going to be the difference. I, I figured out of five, could we maybe get 50 bucks for it? That would be great. It only went for 22 which uh, kind of sealed the deal. Now, all the rest of the cards, the base, there's three numbered cards, but I didn't think they were all that, you know, interesting that somebody would pay, 
more than a couple bucks for these, like Steve Carlton Blue. So I lotted up the rest of the cards, the minis and the base. I ended up getting 41 for those. All together for Williams Box, I ended up at 105, which means that is a $5 loss. So we took an L on that one. Unfortunately, 0 and 1. This box here, this one was a rough one. This was Jeff Coulter's box. There just was really nothing really to write home about in this at all. So I took all the numbered cards, which you, know, you saw them. They weren't all that great. And I put them with the refractors. Now that's this pack right here. This sold for a very disappointing $21. $21 for this, all the numbered cards, and also refractors in the box. And then we were left over with some of the rookies, the minis, and the base. I put those together in one lot. And I was able to get 28 for those. So for that one, that was a $49 return on a $110 box. So big loss right there, unfortunately. But it wasn't all bad news over to this one actually ended up in the positive. We started off Griffey out of 50 and Spencer Torkelson. I put those two together. Got $55 for those. It's a nice little bidding war. $55 bucks for that. And then I took the remaining refractors and parallels and put those in a lot along with the... Uh, you know, what did I say? The, the refractors and the parallels all together. I ended up getting 39 for all of those together. And then everything left over, all the rookies and the base and the minis, I was able to get 35 for those at auction. So all together for that box, that was a profit. Ended up at 129 overall in that box. So if you add up 129 plus 49 plus 105, that gives you 274. However, the boxes cost 330. So this is an L. We lost on this one. 330 minus 274, that is a $56 loss. You can't win them all, folks. You saw right there, that, that could have very easily been 0 for 3. We got saved by that Griffey out of 50. If we didn't pull that one, it would have, we would have been 0 for 3. All three of these boxes would have been underwater. So uh, that just goes to show you with Allen and Gifter Chrome, if you don't pull the autograph or a, a really nice parallel, you're going to have a tough time getting your money back. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. We do these videos. I'll try to do them every day. I don't know if I'll be able to, but they're pretty fun. Some of these boxes are surprising. They will, some some have auctions that go for way more than what we thought. Some have auctions that come in a little bit short. And um, you win some, you lose some, but it's a very, very fun series to do here. Kind of ties up, ties in our auctions that we do on Sunday nights and sometimes Thursday nights as well. Um, so thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you all later. Good night, everybody.